guys welcome back to my channel love charms world uh, I'm in a different setting it's not a vlog today it's a sit down video so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of recap on Dominica Republic um, some questions that were asked and you know I don't want to just leave it to one person I want to give it to everybody who is curious about the hotel that I stayed at and the activities and the food and all that good stuff also I will be discussing um, airlines that are if airlines are hiring during this time and also if there is a uh, furlough or anything I know I've touched on those topic in my videos in my previous video but not everybody gets to see those video so I decided to do another video just to sit down and chit chat with you guys being that there's no vlog today I'm sorry but vlog will resume next week and I hope you enjoy and also we'll be discussing um, the direction in which I want my channel to go so without further ado let's get back to the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new to my channel tell a friend to tell a friend and don't be shy to comment down below I do communicate with you guys and follow me on Instagram at sweetest love charm so let's get right into the video so I've been seeing this question a lot especially during the pandemic you know people still want to take one of their goals off their list and it's to become a flight attendant right so a lot of people have been asking oh this blouse a lot of people have been asking if there are flight attendant job openings right now and fortunately there are a few that is open unfortunately it's not the big the major carriers that you guys have in mind they're, unfortunately, they're not hiring right now like the major carriers are not hiring right now because some of them are still in the limbo as to if they're going to furlough or trying to think of ways in which they could actually save the company. But, you know, with next year and everything, never give up. You don't know like what's going to, you got to be on the lookout to see if they're actually going to hire. However, I will list the link down below of the airlines that are hiring right now. They're not the major airline. The major airlines right now are trying to figure out like what to do with their flight attendants right now. And so far, some airlines have been working and trying to save their company, which is good. So if you could take those leave, guys, take those leave and you can if you can, I understand, but taking the leaves and everything does save the airline a lot of money you know what I mean so I'm really grateful that um, that my company worked out that situation for now so there they said for now there's no furlough which is good and yeah back to what I was saying I will list the link down below of all the other airlines that are hiring right now because I know some of you guys still want to become a flight attendant even during this pandemic Okay, so number two question, is it safe to fly? Yes, it's still it's safe to fly to me. I personally think it's safe to fly just like um, I still when I fly, I still I walk with my wipes and everything and, and sanitize everything. But um, my airline, I know that my airline and, and some other airlines that I've flown on prior to passengers coming on board on the aircraft, they do sanitize everything on the aircraft. They disinfect everything on the aircraft, like the, the tray table, the overhead bins, the seats and everything. And prior to, if you guys have watched my vlog and I show you guys that we, my company, we do hand out wipes to the passengers as they're coming on board so that, you know, you could still, you know, like if you're still feeling a little like, oh my God, like I, I don't think it's clean. We give you those wipes so you could wipe everything down. I still wipe everything down, you know, just to be safe and you know because you never might know what could happen so yes it's still safe to fly I'm sure you guys see my vlogs I've been flying and we're all okay just make sure you if you still have doubts just make sure you still go and take the test to see if you're okay and if you have any symptoms or anything please don't fly because you know there are other passengers who are really terrified to clock to fly 
but please fly and support the airlines right now and yeah and enjoy yourself but be safe guys also a question that was asked is does my airline pay for um covid tests uh they do my airline did set up something whereas the employees could get free um covid testing um they did something with cvs so they do have that for um the crews and everything so yes they do they do what's the next step for my channel I have a lot of ideas for this channel um, I do have um, some trips in mind that I want to take to take you guys along to show you that it's okay to fly so that you can feel comfortable and everything so I stay tuned for those vlogs I'm hoping they go as good as they did with the Punta Cana by the way thank you guys so 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 much for watching my Punta Cana vlogs I love the feedback I love that people are commenting and asking questions I do answer you guys and I I just love it um, and we've gained a lot of love family and and I hope that you guys or family continue to grow even more I am very grateful so yes so I have a lot in store for my channel and I'm just hoping that we get to our goal by the end of the year which is 1k subscribers by the end of the year I'm hoping and praying that it goes that way I saw that um, people were asking a lot of questions on my um, Punta Cana vlogs like um, if there were clubs open if there's things to do and stuff like that so First, I would say that I read that Punta Cana stopped the, um, they stopped the coronavirus tests prior to coming into the country. I think when I read that up on arrival, that's when you have to take the COVID test. Because when I went there, they had a station set up for people that didn't take the test. So they had to take it then there in the airport prior, before leaving to go outside. So guys. I went to do my research again because I don't want you guys to think uh, so it said this um, the government of Dominican Republic announced that starting September 15 COVID rapid tests will be performed on random select um, selected travelers upon arrival once this measure is in place the requirement for a negative COVID test prior to arrival will be eliminated and that was starting on September 15th and it's now September 26th so I guess now that now you could go without taking a COVID test and also there is a curfew they say from Monday to Friday is 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. and on the weekends which is Saturdays and Sundays is 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. So yeah, those are the thing. And it says, do you do US citizens have to quarantine when they get to the country? And they said, yes, if tested positive. So I'm guessing if you're tested negative, you could do what you want. I'm not sure, you could ask, but the information is right here. I will list this information down below. You could find it on the US Embassy in the Dominican Republic. I don't know if you guys can see uh, no but I'll list it down below you could this is a legit website so you guys could go ahead and check that out um, because a lot of people well someone asked me if there was a club to go to in Punta Cana and I we didn't go to a club in Punta Cana because they had like you know activities and stuff in on the resort so we didn't think to go outside and either way we're not from there so we didn't want to go without knowing somebody from there so we stayed on the resort we just went out when it was time to do the activities which is, was a bunch of group and everything so yeah I do recommend going to DR with your loved one or with your little family it's it was so much fun guys we had so much fun when we came back our skin was like burnt okay 
if your skin was like burnt so i do recommend when you're going to put the counter to bring a sunscreen because trust me okay we were burnt my my girls and i after i didn't start stripping but my friend did but then a couple weeks later i started to strip on my back and everything but it was a lovely experience and I would definitely recommend it. It was my second time going to Punta Cana, but it was my first time going outside of the hotel to, you know, adventure out and it was fun. It was fun. So now that you guys know that you could, you don't know, really need the COVID test prior to entering into Punta Cana, that I think that's a plus. And I'm just praying, guys, that the country gets to open back so that people could travel and not have to be in their house and live in fear because there's so much the world has to offer and so much that travelers like myself would love to see. Let me fix you guys real quick. Would love to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of, like, I had plans to travel this year. I had so much plans. But in Jamaica, you know the saying, man, I plan gonna wipe. <laughs> So, yeah, I had so much plans to travel this year, but I'm still taking my time reading up on places that we could go and what are their restrictions and everything before traveling to that country. Also, they said Bali is open. I went to Bali. It was really fun. There's so much to do. P.S. If you go to Nusa Penida Island, please, you need a lot of sunscreen, okay? You need a lot of sunscreen. It is hot over there anyways let me look at some more questions that was asked um two the hotel that i stayed at um they do have activities like during the day we would play the in the big in the main pool because we had our own pool in the main pool you could um they had a lot of activities and they had a lot of giveaways like one day they had they played bingo and you could win like like t-shirts and like stuff like that and in the evening um they have like karaoke and also um they have like dancers and everything just a lot of entertainment in the night and then when that's finished the sports the sports bar is open until um 2 a.m yes the sports bar is open until 2 a.m so um also they were asking what type of activities you could do outside of the hotel so as soon as we got to the hotel we made sure we set up um stuff to do while we we're there because um they said that the person comes to set up those activities like a certain time of the week so we had to do it as soon as I don't that's what they said I'm pretty sure the person comes when every day but I guess they said no so I'm going based off what they said and that's how we set up and we went on the we went as you see we went on the buggy ride we went to Oma Island um, it was just uh, yeah we as you guys can see in my previous vlog that we did a lot of little activities the time we were there and we had so much fun and I do recommend it to I do recommend it Kate I do recommend it um, and they do take um, COVID very seriously because even when we arrived is it some Saoma Island you had to hand sanitize and everything you have to social distance you couldn't sit like too close to people who you weren't um, traveling with and yeah they, you had to wear your mask so you know you could travel to Punta Cana and like enjoy yourself so I see that a lot of people wanted to know that the the about the food selection in at the hotel that I stayed at and the food selection was pretty great um, they had a lot of of course American selection and they do incorporated a little bit of um, their culture as well however I wish there was more selection because I was I really wanted to try out you know like when you go to Jamaica in the hotels they have like the ackee and saltfish and stuff like that just like a national dish I wish they would have in more incorporated more of that at the, at the hotel however I know that um, they can't really do that because not a lot of people are familiar with their food they're just there for the experience 
so I understand however the food selection overall was good however when we went uh, outside on the excursion um, my friend had fish at um, I think it was um, when we went, went to Salma Island and it messed up her tummy and I would not recommend that however I stick to what I know chicken okay can't go wrong with chicken <laughs> only one time I ate fish and it was at the restaurant at Bahia at the hotel where I stayed at and um, it was good to me it was good to me it wasn't bad I didn't um, I didn't have any stomach virus or anything after that I was totally okay um, I do recommend that um, restaurant by the way because the scenery is so beautiful and it was it's romantic it was romantic I really enjoyed myself at that restaurant um, me and my my friends and I were there and my friend celebrated her birthday there I cannot remember the, the name of the restaurant however if you go to the hotel where I stayed at it's the hotel it's the restaurant that's by the beach and as you guys can see my previous video we sat upstairs and we ate and then the beach was in the scenery you could hear the water and everything it was like a beautiful setting it was perfect um they gave us a cake and yeah if you guys missed that video go ahead and click this link right here and watch or click the link in my bio and watch you don't want to miss out on that um yeah i had such a great time in punta cana and i actually want to go back people were also asking if uh the food um at the hotel is 24 7. Um, to my knowledge, no, because you know, COVID and everything, so certain things cannot be open. However, um, the main restaurant area is, I think it's open until 10 p.m. And then afterwards, you could also go to the sports bar, which is open until 2 a.m. and you could get your food on. Anyways, guys, that's enough for ask, um, answering questions and recapping on Punta Cana which I do recommend you going and I hope you guys if you guys are going I hope you guys enjoy and you comment down below and tell me your experience if you went and if you're about to go like what questions would you like me to answer I will definitely definitely answer them so without further ado I'm sorry if the, the video is a little short I'm about to edit so I'm not really sure if it's short or not but next week, uh, we will resume to vlogging with me going to work and everything. And then, um, oh, I have training to go to. I have to get recertified. Every year we have to get recertified. So I have that as well. So I'm going to be vlogging that. And yeah, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Guys, tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And join the love family, guys. All right, have a good evening. And...